What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to MXGP 2021. How's it all going? Hope you're doing good, hope you're doing well. We're, uh, we're heading into round six, we're going to Lamel, Lommel, Lomel, however you want to say it, in Belgium, uh, the Monster Energy MXGP of Flanders. Um, yeah, we had some good racing last time, right? Uh, where were we? Loquette, wasn't it? Yeah, Loquette in the Czech Republic. Uh, so go check that episode out if you missed it. Um, I did say in the last episode, but uh, a couple of you guys are saying for some longer races. Um, I think it was... Oh, I forgot who it was now. I mentioned their name in the last episode, but I've completely forgot who commented now, so apologies. But um, asking for medium races, 15-minute motos. So we're going to do a medium race. Um, so yeah, race one's 15 minutes, race two's 15 minutes. So it's going to be a longer episode. Um, I probably won't cut out too much. I might cut out the odd little bit here and there, but nothing too crazy. Um, we'll see how the race goes, I guess. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be a, a bit of a longer one. So hopefully you're uh, you're ready for the ride and you're you're sitting down, you've got some snacks, you've got a drink. Because it's going to be about a 40-minute episode, I reckon, easily. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the race. Um, I've changed up the gear, as you can see. Actually, let's have a quick look at that. I don't know if you guys care, but I care. I like being vain. So, we've got some uh, some nice Troidy Designs gear, obviously, still. Rocking some... I like it, man. It's a pretty cool cool little design. The helmet sort of matches. Doesn't really. But closest one. And then the boots don't really match at all. But I thought oh, they're pretty cool, man. I like the kind of briny, orangey, grey boots. They look pretty sick. So... Yeah, I thought we'd switch up for that. I wasn't enjoying the uh, the stuff we were wearing last time out, the yellow, the yellow stuff. So, thought we'd switch up. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the race, and I'll uh, see you in a minute. Right then, this is a change. Qualifier's done with, and we're uh, we're P1. I've got no idea what's going on. We're only um, 0.2, uh, 0.2 seconds ahead of Coyote, but yeah, we did four laps. It was um, So up to the, the qualifying time as well, so it was actually a 15-minute qualifying session, but I did about sort of eight minutes, I reckon. Can't really remember, but... Um, yeah, man, P1. So that's the first. We've never done that before in qualifying, so that's uh, that's interesting. Um, hopefully it's a sign of things to come in the race. It was absolutely chucking it down as well, so I don't know if that helped me. I don't know if the AI were just being particularly slow in the rain. But um, we'll see what it's like in a race, I guess. Let's get into race one. Here we go, race one. Let's get into the first 15-minute moto. This is going to be interesting. Uh, I don't know how well I'm going to do for 15 minutes. This could be a lot of crashes. I guess we'll take the inside gate. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at our nice red plates. We have got the red plate. If you missed last episode, we obviously had some funny games with the red plate. We had it when we shouldn't have, and then we didn't have it, and now we've got it back again. So, strange little, uh, strange little things going on. But um, yeah, man, here we go. The Mel, Lommel, however you want to say it. Dougie Deck is ready in his crazy looking gear. I like that, man. I do like that. It looks good. Revs are up. Can we get a good start? Average, average start. Jumped, uh, jumped the KTMs. There looks like a Yamaha coming around the outside, though. Oh, this is a little bit bumpier than it was just now in the rain. Straight away, the first corner. I mean, look how torn up this is already. This is race one. Right, this is going to be a long old race, man. 15 minutes, we've got to do this twice as well. It's going to be crazy. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this long episode. I'll see how this one goes. If Obviously, if you all love it and you want to see longer races, then I'll, I'll try and do some more. I'm not going to do it every round because it just takes, it takes too long. But um, and I only have a, a limited amount of time <laughs> for recording, and obviously the longer the recording is, the more editing I've got to do. The bigger the files are, the longer it takes to get to YouTube, the longer it takes for YouTube to process it, you know, it's all, it's all a big old process. So, a lot goes into these uh, YouTube videos that people don't um, necessarily always think about or see, or obviously if you don't do it yourself, then you wouldn't know, which is fair enough. So, but yeah, so long stuff makes everything else longer, but we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. Hopefully you enjoy this one anyway. Hopefully I enjoy this one. Hopefully we do alright. Hopefully... I, I mean, the, the benefit of having longer races, I suppose, is at least if we do make a mistake, we've got a bit of time to, uh, to try and rectify that mistake. I hate that little lump there. If you hit that wrong, you go flying off. Yeah, so at least if we do, you know, do something foolish, we've got 15 minutes and uh, plus two laps, obviously, as well, to, uh, to sort ourselves out. So far, though, Again, we're getting away. I don't know. Oh, all right. Literally, literally, as I say it, we crash. But we have a nice little gap. So, and as I said, we've got uh, plenty of time to, to sort it out. So hopefully, I would like to stay, you know, at the front though. It'd be nice to get another. I like this track. So that's why I chose this one to do the first uh, kind of longer races on. I do like this track. It's good fun. Um, I did say last episode maybe we'll do some longer ones. Again throughout the season. I don't know what's I can't remember what's after this race, but Riola Sardo, Sardo, Sardo is a <laughs> in Italy is another track that I quite like. So maybe when that one comes up in a couple rounds we could do another long race. Ooh, cut to the inside there. 
And uh, obviously the last round, Mantova. Maybe we could do it on race day as well, because that's a good. Oh, it's been there. All right. This is the problem with long races. There's benefits and, uh, and disadvantages. I've got to try and concentrate for 15 minutes now, which is which is difficult. <laughs> this is very hard. Who got ahead of us then? Was it Hurlings? And obviously Carly's right in front of us. So it's Prado. All right. Still Team KTM. Hurlings right behind us. Now, 15 minute motos, do the AI still just absolutely disappear out front? Or are they going to give me a bit of a chance to get back? Are they going to make any, mistake, any mistakes? I'm not getting away yet, and they've slowed right down for that bit. Do you know what? I actually preferred, most of the time, the wet races are pretty horrible. I actually preferred riding this in the wet and qualifying. That was, uh, it was nice, it was smooth. You know, you could chuck the bike into stuff, and it wasn't, you know, the ruts weren't all bumpy and crazy. These boys are both getting wide for some reason. Don't really gain any time though. They're battling, battling pretty hard with each other. So this should give us a hopefully a chance. Ooh, Curly's just taken Prado out, mate. What's going on? The teammates, they did that quite a lot in real life to be fair. In the uh, the 2021 season. They had a few um few little battles, they all did. All three of them. Hurlings, Curly and uh, Prado had a few little moments to be honest. Oh, we're a little bit high up on that burn there. Chasing down, chase down the nine-time world champion, the now retired Antonio. Said last time, mate, but I think there's talks of him coming back for a few races this year, so we'll wait and see. Even the first round, I heard talks of uh, Matley Basin. He does like it there. He's won it there plenty of times. He's getting away here, though. He's, I'm not sticking with him as much as I was just now. Was that my chance? I still feel like they give you a give you a lap or two just to catch him up, and then uh, if you don't get past him. They, ooh, they disappear. This track is a mess. It is rough as you like. A little bit quicker through that bit. A little bit. I mean, if we could just stay, you know, if we could stay on him. P2, I'm not going to, you know. We obviously want to get some overalls, but... Oh, hello. Cheeky little inside line there. I don't know why he took the outside line, but... Not going to complain. All right, well, that's good. That's good. That's a good sign. We've managed to uh, fight our way back up to P1 after our mistakes. Let's try and not make any more mistakes. We've still got, still got 10 minutes of this race to go. Or oh, as he nearly drops it. I'm going to take the outside right now because that just that inside line just messes me up. Come on in. Let's see what we can do. It would be nice to get another overall, get another career challenge. When uh, I watch you do an episode of a, like you know a handful of career challenges at once. Oh, I don't like that corner either. The ruts just kick you out everywhere. Mm. Nice. All right, it's going all right. It's going all right. We obviously had the, um, the contract offer at the end of the last episode, which I didn't realise. I thought it was the end of this race. Uh, so obviously, as you can see, if you're only just watching the episodes, I, I stuck with our GoPro Gas Gas um, privateer team. I was going to switch it up to the factory team, but I just I love the look of this. And I love the fact we can just switch it up. We change our gear up all the time. We don't have to, you know, conform to the... Oh, no, come on. That was one of those crazy speed wobble madness. Hurlings has hit our bike, I think. I hate when it does that. It's so unrealistic. Like, I know you get speed bubbles on fast MotoGP super bikes and stuff, but and yeah, obviously you get it in, in motocross. I mean, taking those two back pretty quickly. But it's not really a speed wobble. It's more of a because of the braking bumps and stuff. And there wasn't really nothing there. I don't know why it just kicks you out like that. It's crazy. Right, we got all that work to do again. Carly's back in the lead. It is so hard to not crash in this game. I don't know what you guys think. Any of you playing it out there, let me know. But it is just, I don't know, it's very easy to crash. And uh, yeah, it's, it respawns you pretty quickly. Like, you know, obviously in real life, if we crash then we'd be, we'd be down in like 10th place by now. But um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, there's not a lot they can do about it really, because it is, you know, it's a rough, rough, you know, rough terrain. It's, that's what would happen in real life, but it is. I know, it's hard to control the, the rider and the bike sometimes. Anyway, we'll wait and see what uh, Supercross 5 is like, see if there's any improvements. Obviously, completely different style of racing anyway. I know it's still 
dirt bikes, motocross bikes, whatever you want to call them. Um, but it's a completely different discipline, really. A lot more rhythm sections. Whoops. Less flat out terrain like this. Right, Carly's getting away now. We're uh, ooh, very wide around that turn. That was rubbish. We're, uh, we're backing up the pack a little bit. There's a bit of a train behind us. The track's just really rough, man. Definitely struggling with the, the terrain. Hitting these invisible bumps that you can't see. Come on, let's put in some consistent smooth laps. Yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the series. It seems like some of you are. Getting a fair few, uh, fair few views and comments and stuff, which is nice to see for the little channel that we are. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, all that stuff while you're watching this. All it takes is a couple of clicks, a few buttons. Click that notification bell as well if you wish. I haven't, I never really said anything about that, but because I'm not a fan of notifications, every every app in the world just ping, pings your notifications constantly. So. If you don't want notifications, don't turn them on. It doesn't bother me too much. I know the YouTube algorithm likes it, but up to you in it. If you want notifications, pop up on your phone, left, right, and centre. If you don't, that's fine. As long as you come back and check the channel every now and then and watch the videos, it's all that matters to me. Right, we're gaining it again. That last section where when we get it right, or didn't get that bit right, when we get it right, we're uh, we're pretty quick through there. Definitely gain a bit of time. What we got six minutes about just under six minutes plus two to go still. This is this is hard work, mate. I am concentrated like crazy. Yeah, he's quick through that bit, isn't he? We yeah, uh, we definitely lose a lot of time through the finish line jump and the first corner, really, which is you know there's not really that much to go wrong there. So I don't really know why we're so slow, but I always mess that bit up. Look at the ruts, though. This is obviously a. Uh, Crazy, crazy deep sand track in real life. Proper hard going in, uh, in the real races. Who won it in 21? I can't remember. Was it Hurlings? He came back, didn't he? And he was injured. And he still... Did he win both races? Or did... Never I win one. I can't remember. Honestly, can't remember. But um, it was a tough, tough going race, I think. I think it rained for race two or race one of the races, at least. Did we get any rain in a minute? Like I said, qualifying was wet. See if we get a wet, uh, wet race too. I won't be. I don't know. It felt alright in qualifying. It felt pretty good in the rain. So it, was, it felt better than it does in the dry. Like this dry track feels a bit horrible. It's very, very bumpy. Yeah, we're quick through this bit as well. Though. Well, they're slow through that bit basically. They sl they slow right down for some reason with those rollers. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa they lost the front. I wish they would make a couple more mistakes to AI. Like, I've got someone right on my tail now after that mistake I made, but they never seem to... Unless they're battling with each other, they don't really make many mistakes. And it's a bit, you know... They're not even... I'm not saying they need to crash, but just, like, go wide or, you know, hit a... Hit a breaking bump funny like we do every now and then. Like, I've got no chance of catching Kyrie really, unless he makes a mistake. Oh, no, 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 no. Got over the top of the berm. No, guys, that's the guy we need to beat. He was nowhere to be seen just now. It was KTM. KTM crew. He's going very wide around turn one, but he took a nice line, to be fair. Maybe I should uh, follow him, try and, try and take his lines. Oh, no, he's getting away already. Oh, all right, okay. I can feel this one. <laughs> I feel this one slipping away from us. <laughs> They're, uh, they're up in their pace, or I'm getting slower, one of the two. Yeah, look at him, he's disappearing, what's going on? Ooh, a little bit sketchy over that bit. These ruts are getting mad. Come on, we've still got three minutes to go, plus two. If we can get guys at the back, I'll be happy. Kyrie's, you know, got a decent lead now, so... Might not happen, but hopefully guys will go slow over these uh, these rollers here. He does. Not that slow, but slower than us. Can I? Oh, I was going to try and force a pass up the inside. Didn't quite happen. Oh, they're just so quick. 
in certain places they get such good grip. I mean, he's pulling, on, pulling me away from the rest of the pack, which is nice, but like I said, he's our uh, main championship rival. I think we're like, we're, are we tied on points? I'm pretty, I didn't look at the standings before the race, but I'm pretty sure we're tied on points. Yeah, man, he's gone. He has left the building. Curly and Geyser are just disappearing. I mean, look, that's like half a lap. Half a lap, and he's, yeah, he's like an entire corner ahead of us. Where did that pace come from? It does, oh, it does wind me up. Like, where was that? Where has he just got all that speed from? I mean, we're probably, I don't know, I feel like I'm messing a lot of... a few bits up here and there, but nothing... extreme. Oh, he's only, oh, I don't know. He's only there. We've still got plenty of time. Still got plenty of time. Let's see, let's see. I mean, Carly's only there as well. He's taking a wide, a wide berm right there. We've... Oh, set ourselves up on the berm. Come on, we've got a nice gap behind, but I don't want him... Bit one on catching us. We're gonna have probably at the end of this one three laps to go, I reckon. What's the lap time? 146. Yeah. Three laps at the end of this one, I reckon. Don't think. I think Harley's gonna get to the line before that hit zeros. No, 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 no. Get away from the signs. Dude, what is happening? Don't let Prado through. Come on, we need a podium. We need a podium. But overall. It has to be damage limitation. It has to be damage limitation. We need to be on the podium at the end of the day. That fourth place is not going to help our cause. Come on, come on, come on. I want to keep this red plate, mate. Oh, Prado's getting away as well now. It's going to be three laps to go, as I said. Come on. They take like a kind of middle of the road line right now. Do you reckon I should be doing that? Perhaps we'll switch it up for race two. Stick with what I know for this one. Come on, come on, come on. Let's at least get proud out. Ah, oh, see, look, invisible broken bumps, mate. That one, there's nothing even there. Down the sixth we go. We can definitely get these two back. Come on, these two haven't even got that much pace. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sorry, Jeff, mate. Ah, oh, maybe not. Oh no. <laughs> it's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. Look at the gap behind us. The top six are on another level. That's insane. I don't want to be in P6 though, bloody hell. I knew these these longer races were gonna go one of two ways. It was either gonna be a good thing, give us plenty of time to um get away at the front or battle our way back if we, you know, had to battle through the pack. Or, it was going to cause me issues towards the end when I'm losing concentration. Tracks just absolutely torn up. And typically, as I like to do, I've thrown it away in the last couple laps. We've still got two laps to go after this one, but we've hit another invisible... I mean, it was there was a bump there, but I'm making all the mistakes now. This lap has been terrible. Oh, P6, man, not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. Carly's already taken the uh, two lap flag. Board, whatever it is. Can't really play. Just look at the state of the bike, the wish. Just all over the place. Oh, there's a massive gap as well now to P5, and we're going over that burn, we're going over this burn. Get back on, get back on, get back on. We've got like a big gap behind us, mate, but it's not that big. Bloody hell. Anybody says that the uh, the tracks don't deform real time in this game, they 100% do, mate. They, oh, Kyrie's binned it. Kyrie's crashed out of first place. That's bad, actually, because that means Geyser could take the lead, and we don't want that. Yeah, the track's definitely, like, I'm not saying it's perfect. Like, it's a, oh, it's a bit of a mess, to be honest. Like, the, the ruts don't really make sense, but it definitely changes. It 100% changes. See where he's gone down behind us, by the looks of it. He was P8, so... Whoever's P7 is still, uh, not miles behind. We've got to be careful. Yeah, the track, the track is rough as you like. Look at it. It's causing me all sorts of problems. Is that the gap? Yeah, fair we ain't catching him. We're not catching him. Oh, I'm over it. That was my fault to be fair that time. Went way too high into that, that inside, inside rut. 
Damn, alright, well it's going to be a P6 at best. We still got another lap after this, obviously. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> I hate that little inside. That little inside bump. Oh, and that bit. I'm just, I'm messing up now. I think I've lost. Lost the momentum. Lost the, uh, the flow. Getting too aggressive on the throttle now as well, trying to override to bridge a gap that is just not going to be, not going to be bridgeable. Oh, he's gone down though, Fenfer's gone down. He's still, is that him over there? Yeah, he's still absolutely miles ahead. Ten seconds. Yeah, they've done that classic thing. I've made some mistakes, obviously, but uh, as soon as they get ahead of you, they, they just turn up the pace. Like, I don't know where they get the speed from, honestly. That inside line there is an absolute shocker. I'm going to have to change that up. We're on a final lap. First 15 minute moto. I, could, I mean, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. Oh, come on, see where it's crashed twice now. Come on, let's get some more people crashing in front of us. He's so far ahead of us, Fevra. I mean, that really, oh, P5 is no better, really, is it? I mean, it's better, but it's still... Still not what you want to see. Oh, God. Come on, let's not drop to P7. At least P6 we can... I don't know. Maybe if we win the race... We can uh, maybe stand on the podium, depending on what everybody else does. I think I didn't look too hard then, but over on the left-hand side, Geyser was uh, definitely hounding Cairoli. Or was he hounding Prado? Was it Prado? I don't know. Yeah, not, not the best show, not the best show. And at a track that I said I liked, which is why I did it a long race. Anyway. Still want a race, still want a race. I almost want it to rain. I almost want it to rain. If it rains and it was like it wasn't qualifying, because that was good. If it rains and it's still all right up like this, then uh, that's not going to be fun. Oh, Curry's Curry already taken the win. Jesus. We're that far behind. We haven't had one of these uh, for a while. Oh, guys just crashed. All right. Oh, has he already crossed the line now? Are they just doing that thing where they crash after the line? Hopefully he crashed. Why are we P7? I swear we were P6 just now. What? I swear we were P6. Why have we dropped P7? What happened? Yeah, P6. All right, okay, cool. Game's just going mad. So Prado took... Geyser, so yeah, alright, Geyser got 20 points, what did we get? 15, so 5 points, it's not brilliant, not brilliant, 5 point deficit. Yeah, look at him, 46s, 47s, absolutely mad. Alright, well, that's the first moto done, we'll, uh, we'll move into moto 2, I'm going to get a drink, get a croaky little voice, but then we'll uh, be back for moto 2 in a second. Here we go, race 2, another 15 minutes, this is going to be tough, man. we uh, we got some serious competition, they look so good, man, the AI, like the, the graphics and stuff on their bikes and their, their jerseys, just looks insane. I wish we could have those numbers. I still don't understand why we haven't got those numbers. Anyway, right, let's line up, line up alongside uh, Fevra. Who have we got next to us? Mitch Evans, all right. Right, here we go then. Race two, now a 15 minute moto. This is gonna be insane. It's not raining. Oh, we got the whole shot, but uh, it was messy. Look at the state of this track, right? I'm not being funny, but if we make it through this without any mistakes, I will be... No, I mean, it's not going to happen, to be honest. Carly is a monster right in this track. He's already... Whoa, see, look, already, lap, what? Not even done a lap. Just the first blooming couple corners. We're already losing the front. I'm not even breaking into that corner. I'm just rolling into it. Oh, same through there. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, this could be tough. They've, this track is just exactly like it was just now, so it's only going to get worse. I'm having fun, I'm having fun. 15 minute motors, it's good fun, it's good fun. No, that's not good fun, come on. We need, I don't know man, we need We need to beat Geyser obviously, it doesn't mean we're going to beat him. Overall for the GP, he was P3 wasn't he? So, we need to, I mean, the chances of him being P6 are unlikely. The pace he had in the first race. So we need to, I mean we need to win, obviously, but Kyrie is already off and uh, doing that thing where he disappears and we're holding up the rest of the field. I think, anyway, I think. I mean, we, we, we got back to, to him in the first race, didn't we? 
because he passed us a few times. We made a few mistakes. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's not, let's not, let's not write it off completely. I'm being very negative. Just consistency in this game is that the only thing that gets you wins, and it's it's so hard to be consistent. It's so hard. I don't know. Maybe it's my bike setup. I don't know. It just feels so bumpy, man. Everything's so bumpy. Right, they all kind of go like into this middle. Oh no, that's even worse, mate. Look at the state of that. Someone's coming up our inside as well, eh? Oh, mate, it's absolute snail's pace. We're going so slow. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get going, let's get going. Who's behind us? Hurlings. I'm not even going to look. Stay away from some of these crazy breaking bumps. <laughs> He's already got a five second lead. We're only on lap two. Or our first official lap, I should say. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're just getting a little bit too hot in some of these berms, and it's, uh, it's going to cause us some issues in a minute if we're not careful. No, 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 stay on the track, stay on the track, stay on the track. I was trying to tear right now. We, we can gain some time up right now, but only if we stay on the track. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. Over the top of the berm again. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be leaving this round with a red plate, annoyingly, but we're still, you know, we're still there in the championship. We're still there. We're still there. It's all good. It's all good. We've got plenty of we're only in, what is this, round six? Round six of 13, isn't it? Because we haven't got a uh, La Capelle. Because we'd already started our career before that track was uh, finally added to the game. Took took their uh, sweet old time to add that one in. But, uh, annoyingly, I don't know if we're going to, you know, we might not even get a chance to race it in career mode. They obviously did an episode on it, but... This, this might, we might not be able to get another season in, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. I, I, I was counting down the days, the weeks, we're around that time before Supercross comes out. So, this doesn't mean we can't come back to this, I might come, I probably will come back to it. Um, but yeah, and it, for, for now at least, Supercross, obviously when that comes out, will take priority. And then we've got MotoGP, so, this could be our only season on the 450s, which is a bit annoying. I was a little bit late to get in the game in the first place, this year, for some reason. I um, can't remember why, what was I doing? What was I playing? Or did I just not buy it? Don't know, can't remember. But yeah, so how I started, you know, when it came out originally. We uh, we might have got a couple more, another season. So next year, or this year now, I suppose it'd be out later this year, wouldn't it? In autumn, autumn, winter. I'll uh, hopefully get it a bit sooner. We can get a couple more seasons in. Because I, I do love the outdoors, man. The outdoor racing is, is good fun. Oh, wait and see, wait and see. Right. So far. So good. I nearly, I, I stopped talking then because I thought I was going to crash. But <laughs> so far, so good. P2, Carly is gone. He's, he's long gone. Seven seconds gone. We're, I, we're not holding people up. We're, you know, we're, there's a gap there. They're not, oh, they're going to be right on us now, are they? Oh, they're definitely going to be right on us now. I was going to say, we're not holding them up because there's a gap, but no, there's not a gap. They're literally on a tail, so... Come on, no mistakes, no mistakes, no mistakes. Let's just nice and smooth. Smooth and steady. I'm sticking with my inside line here. Oh, I mean, am I? Not really. Oh, I don't know, it's just horrible. Look at the ruts, mate. Look at it. It's an absolute mess. This track has turned into absolute chaos. We've still got whoa, still got nine minutes left. Oh, I'm messing it up, I'm messing it up. Concentrate. Not worrying, stop panicking. Jesus. Absolute mob of them behind us. I'm pretty sure that's Prado Hurlings and guys are the fastest uh, Some of the fastest boys in the paddock. I don't know if ever is, unless he's in that pack as well, unless I just didn't see him. Guys, oh, is my main worry, man. I'll look at, we'll have a, look, a proper look at the stand lens this time. Let's see who's, uh, 
Who else is in the championship fight? We need to start, you know, riding a little bit tactically. If we're not going to be winning, then we need to be beating certain people. Guys that we know. Coyote's obviously putting a crack in showing in around Lamel. Lommel. <laughs> How'd you say it? Someone tell me how you say it in the comments. Oh, no, 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 no. Even though we made all those mistakes, we somehow got away with that. The good thing about um, bunching them up is they, oh, they're obviously battling with each other, so they, they kind of trip each other up a little bit, which is nice. Gives you a bit of breathing space. Is that car really going down that straight already? Oh, no, that's a different part of the track. No, he's over there. A bit too inside that time. A little bit too inside to push this wide. Terrible line into there. Oh, we got an the outside burn. Absolutely send it off here. Woo! -hoo. Did you see that pop up then? That said, Van Horbeek P1 has crashed. He's definitely not in P1, is he? Definitely not in P1. This game, honestly. I love it, I love it. I really do love it. It says we're in P3 again, as aren't I? Because it thinks Van Horbeek is in P1. Like, what is happening? Right, that was a pretty chilled lap. Nothing, uh, nothing too dramatic happened that lap. No major mistakes. No one, no one's catching us. No one's. Well, they are catching us, but they're, you know, everyone stayed, stayed. Uh, what's to say? I can't think. Everyone was in their same positions, basically. Nobody really moved. No one gained. No one lost. Geyser is now behind us by the looks of it. We're showing in P3, but we're definitely in P2. So no idea what's going on there. Hope that doesn't affect the overall results in a minute. Did the same thing in uh, race one, then it said we were P7 when we were actually P6. Oh, there it is. There is the mistake. Just had a nice clean lap. <sighs> we throw it down the road. And guess who's overtaking us? It's good old Tim Geyser. The man we need to beat in the championship. Oh, and I'm drifting over the top of Burns. Look, I mean, look at the state of the pace. I know we were on the floor, so that gave him an instant advantage. It's getting back. It's getting back. Come on, let's concentrate. We still got so long left of this race, so we got plenty of time. Just don't let him get away. Go wide, mate. No, all right, don't go wide. All right, we're pretty close actually, and they are slow through this bit, as we already know. So let's try and uh, a little bit of bad drive out of there. Yeah, not brilliant. Not brilliant through there. Try that little bump. Oh, nearly it again. But be careful sending it off there as well. If you send it too much, you end up flying over to the right, hitting the signs. Done that many a time in uh, in practice and uh, like online and stuff. Anybody wants any online racing? Anybody interested in that? Just, even if it's just like one or two episodes. Ooh. I don't know what that. You know, it would be. I don't know if it'd be particularly exciting. Online's a bit chaotic to be honest. There's just loads of uh, your classic. Any, any racing game you play online, you just get the classic idiots just crashing into people. And don't get me wrong, it's not easy to, to play online, especially on a game like this, which is not, you know, not the most um, finessed kind of style of riding, you know. You haven't really got a lot of time to react if someone oh, crashes in front of you like that. Um, dude, P6 again, this could be worse than last time. Or we technically be five still. Uh, yeah, so it, online's a bit chaotic, but I could do some online uh, online videos if anyone's interested. See how we do. Very hit or miss. Sometimes I've uh, I've won a few races online. Other times I'm dead last. Like just completely depends who you end up against. Right. This game is so random, honestly. So we're oh, I was about to say we're back past Herlings, but he's oh he's cutting across us on the track there. Right, I'm having the inside line here, mate, whether you're having it or not. Thank you. Beautiful. Right, back up to P5, which could be P4, I think. I think the scoring is still messed up there. Fevre is going well slow through that section, as they all do. Back up to P4, which is P3, because it should just be Geyser and Kyrelia ahead of us. I was unaware. 
Oh, try it back step night. I mean, you know, not the best thing in the world. Geyser is beating us, but damage limitation, damage limitation. Got to be done sometimes. No idea what ranks next. Anybody remember what's next? What uh, so it be rank seven? Is that Keegums? Possibly Keegums? I think. Yeah, I think it might be. That's also a weird track. Also a nice layout track, but a weird physics track. <laughs> like just weird stuff happens on it. Or for what I find anyway. Oh, dude, what sort of line are we taking right now? It's just such a mess. I want to go to the outside around here, but I just. It... <sighs> They're going to just fly around the inside because they just get unlimited grip sometimes. Oh, what's going on with the ruts in that corner? Yeah, Keegums, Keegums next. I don't know what we... 250s, we... I, I think we did our classic thing of doing all right in race one and then messing race two up or the opposite. Pretty sure that's what happened anyway. Trying to follow the like actually follow the ruts a little bit, see if it makes a difference to the handling, but it's really hard to stay in them. Like I think that's the thing that people moan about the most is like the ruts they work as ruts would in real life. But that uh, you got I mean you gotta understand how hard that would be to get right. And would you really want that all the time? Like once you're in a rut, if they put something in there to say like you're in this rut, you're kind of stuck in it, that I don't know, that kind of makes the game more I don't know, if you can't kind of pick your lines very easily, because the only way they'd, they'd get that to work is some sort of mechanic to say, you're in this rut, you're stuck in it now, basically. Do you know what I mean? And if you try and get out of it, you're going to get cross -ride, like you would in real life, but I just don't know if that would work very well in a game. It'd be quite hard to produce, which is probably why they've not done it. But... Oh, it'd be nice if it... Yeah, I don't know. Like, in places like that, it just kind of dug in. It dug into a rut, and you were, yeah, locked in there. Like, like, kind of like the brooms do, but the brooms... Ah, oh, the brooms don't do it enough, to be honest. Whoa, 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 what was that, Prado? Prado absolutely looping out of the, uh, the first turn there. Oh, we're down to a couple seconds left. This is, uh, three laps to go. We can, if we can not make any mistakes, keep this position, I'll be happy with that. Beats race one. It's not going to do the, the best for our overall. We're not going to be on the podium. Like, Colden Off's just taking the two-lap flag somehow, which he, which he obviously hasn't. This is madness. Absolutely madness. Two laps to the end. What are you talking about? We're in P4. But we're not. We're in P3. It was Van Hoorbeek just now, not Blumen. See where? Uh, Colden Off, sorry. Why is it saying Colden Off's taking the two-lap board? That's <laughs> just madness. <laughs> Absolutely madness. This is what happens when you do 15 minute motors. It's just the game that doesn't understand. Ugh, anyway, right, stop whinging. It will be two laps to go in a minute when we get to the finish line. Just trying to feather that throttle. Easy for you to say, feather that throttle. There we go, Carelli's now taking. Well, oh, what? Carelli's taking the final lap. Oh, this is it's broken, isn't it? This is just completely broken. There we go then. Final lap time. Possibly the final lap time. I don't know. He obviously said just now that Curry took the final lap thing because Coldenoff took the two lap board even though Coldenoff's not in first place. Uh, oh, what? Dude, I didn't jump the track at all. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, mate. Hurlins, get back here. Yeah, take that wide line. Take that wide line. That didn't really slow you down, did it? Oh, did I cut the track then? Did I? Did I really? I don't think I did. It's going to go wide around here as well. It's giving me the opportunity and I'm not taking it. It's just too fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, you stayed right there for that bit. This is a mess, that corner, to be fair. Yeah, we get back for it. We're going to get back for it. Come on. No, we're not. Oh, change up gear, mate. Change gear. Why are you revving away in second gear? No, come on. That was our opportunity. We're gonna be alright, we're gonna be alright, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him through this bit, I think. 
This is the last lap we need to get him because that should put us on the sort of podium that doesn't really exist. Come on, come on, come on, block pass. Well, not block pass, but block the, block the line. Oh, get back on the track. Currently just took the win, so it is the final lap. It definitely shouldn't be the final lap. Not quite sure what happened there, but I guess we'll, uh, we'll take it. I was going to say, is it like lap riders? But I don't think we're lapping riders. I don't think Kyrie was lapping people, with really. he? There we go. Right, race two's done with. Should be a P3, I think. We'll wait and see what happens. <laughs> what is happening? Absolute nonsense. It wasn't Van Horbeek, it was Van Donick. He wasn't there. He wasn't in P2. What are you talking about? Was he? I don't think he was. Am I chatting, am I chatting nonsense? Like, he did, he did a 1 minute 57 lap time. He was 10 seconds slower than everybody else. And it said... Cold enough, I think, took the... Two lap flag. And he's down in P11. <sighs> What a load of rubbish. One absolute load of rubbish. We're P4, supposedly. We're definitely P3. Guys that beat us anyway, it doesn't really matter. Curry really beat us as well. Van Donick did not beat us, but all right, we'll go with it, I suppose. This is stupid. Overall then, ah, oh, so we just slipped off the podium. Do you know what? Oh, that's so annoying, because we'd have been on the podium, I reckon. How was Prado on the podium? Where was Prado in race two? Mental. All right. Absolutely mad. Well, that red plate's going. Overall, yeah, we're now seven points behind Geyser. Kyrie is catching us. He's, what's that, 14 points behind? Yeah. Brad is not too far behind him. Fevra. And then Herlins is having the mare down in uh, sixth place. He's obviously had some bad races. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Red plate's going, but uh, yeah, it could have been worse, it could have been worse. That was hard, that was hard work, man. Not gonna lie, the, those 15 minute marriages are, are difficult. I hope you guys did enjoy it though. Um, as I said, we'll, we'll probably do some more. I'm not gonna do too many because it just takes a long time and it is difficult. But uh, yeah, there we go. I guess P2 in the championship still. Could be a lot worse. We only lost seven points to the guys there. Let's wait and see what happens next time. And there we go. Lamel, Lommel, Landers, Belgium, whatever you want to say, is done with. Interesting uh, interesting results from the game there. Not sure what's going on with that. I feel a bit cheated out of our... Uh, we should have definitely had P3 in that second race. And I reckon that had helped our overall. But never mind. Doesn't matter. Can't be helped. We've lost the red plate. We'll see if we've actually lost the red plate. And if it's still on our bike next time out. Because uh, I feel like we've had the red plate before when we shouldn't have. So you never know. We might just keep it anyway. Do what we want in it. Do what we want. Um, but yeah, there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. it as I said, longer races... I won't be doing too many of them, but if you really like them, then I'll definitely try and do another one at least. Um, and we'll go from there, I guess. But yeah, that was tough. That was hard work. I, that was proper concentration right there. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, obviously leave, leave uh, some comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. It'd be very much appreciated. And next time out, we'll hit up uh, hit up Kagums. Lavia. We'll, uh, we'll see how we get on there. Another crazy track. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.